Hello my lovelies this is BL fan edits and welcome back to my channel Today I'm listing down 28 BL dramas and movies that portray age gap relationships between couples Age gap romance isn't a very common BL trope but it is still a subgenre that many fans enjoy watching including me I'm only going to be talking about BLs that have a significant age gap which is 5 years or more so these won't be BLs like semantic error or why are you where age gap is just 1 or 2 years i'm also going to be including fantasy bls in this list where the same might be a 100 year old grim reaper or other similar characters so with that said let's start with the first one The novelist or pornographer is a love story between an erotic novel writer Kijima Ryo and university student Kozumi. Kijima and Kozumi get into a bike accident which causes Kijima to break his hand. He hires Kozumi to transcribe his erotic novel for him as compensation, which causes them to spend a lot of time together and understand each other. Kijima is a man in his late 20s or early 30s while Kozumi is a university student still in his early 20s. I love how Kijima seduces Kozumi and leaves Kozumi completely smitten by him. Bite Me follows the story of chef and restaurant owner Ue who falls in love with university student and delivery driver Aik who is also a gifted chef. This is a slow burn romance between a mature and established man who has failed in love once before and a talented student who is uncertain about his future. The main leads have chemistry but this series will not be to everyone's taste because there are less dialogues and is kind of a relaxed slow paced drama. Dear Doctor I'm coming for soul is a love story between a human and a grim reaper even when the grim reaper was a human they still had an age gap of about 10 to 12 years this is an extremely interesting and conflicting story about a surgeon who works tirelessly to save lives and a grim reaper whose job is to take away the souls of the people the surgeon is not able to save there are two opposing sides who have no match with each other but they cannot stop caring for one another and falling for each other Ye Sheng Si is a creative director of an advertising firm. He is a well-respected man who is kind-hearted and loved by everyone in the office and his friends. Sheng Si has a stepbrother, Yang Ji, who is totally opposite to Sheng Si. Yang Ji is a cold person who is introverted and doesn't trust anyone easily. There is only one person in his life who he truly loves, and that is his much older brother Sheng Si. Young Ji is obsessed with Sheng Si and can go to any lengths to make Sheng Si fall in love with him. Young Ji was still quite young when Sheng Si moved out of the house, so I'm guessing their age difference is about six to seven years. Sun Bo Shang, a high school student, fell in love with Lu Ji Gang, a cafe owner, the first time he saw him. Bo Shang is just 18 years old, while Ji Gang is already in his late twenties. Lu Ji Gang has failed in love many times, and whenever he gives his heart to someone, they leave him, and he's left broken-hearted. So he doesn't trust anyone. Bo Shang, on the other hand, is relentless in his pursuit of Ji Gang and never gives up despite countless rejections by Ji Gang. Impressed by Bo Shang's tenacity and love, Ji Gang finally gives up and accepts Bo Shang wholeheartedly. Kissable Lips is a love story between a vampire Junho who is walking the path of extinction and a university student Minhyun. We all watch Twilight so we know that vampires are usually at least 100 years old. So you can imagine the age difference between Junho and Minhyun. It's massive. Junho fell in love with a human with pure blood Minhyun. However, to survive as a vampire, Junho will have to consume Minhyun's blood. The conflict between wanting to protect Minhyun and also wanting to drink his blood is what makes this show. Shaya was born with a rich and renowned ancestry. He was once a player but has recently decided to become a better person. Shaya is being chased by a young woman who is pretty and has a lot of suitors, but her heart only lies with Shaya. Shaya keeps rejecting her, so she asks her older brother Yuan Zhong for help. Yeon Jong is an ex-military man who now owns a bodyguard training business. Yeon Jong sets out to convince Shaya to marry his sister but ends up falling in love himself. Yeon Jong looks quite a bit older to Shaya. He owns a well-established company while Shaya is a recent graduate. 
The Devil Judge is a story set in dystopian Korea where daily life is in chaos and the society has collapsed. Head trial judge Kang Yohan holds a reality show style courtroom trials and mercilessly punishes the guilty, earning him the Devil Judge title. In this turbulent world enters rookie judge Kim Gaon with a strong sense of justice. This drama is not a full-blown BL but the sexual chemistry between Kang Yohan and Kim Gaon steals the show. There is quite a significant age difference between these two characters and I'm assuming it must be more than 10 to 12 years. The director of the series, The Director Who Buys Me Dinner, is 400 years old. So imagine the age difference between him and his subordinate. Dongbaek is one of the newest employees at Min Entertainment when he meets the director of the company Yu Dam for the first time. He was shocked because the director said that they have to date or they will die. The director has lived three lives and in each life he has been searching for Dongbaek. In his fourth life, he finally meets Dongbaek and they must fall in love with each other or they will die. There is a 10-year age gap between department head Nozue and his subordinate Togawa. Nozue is 39 years old and has become a slave to his routine. Living alone and doing the same things every day has made Nozue's life very monotonous. At his age, Nozue seems unwilling to pursue new things. This is noticed by Nozue's sharp-eyed subordinate Togawa who is 10 years younger to him. Togawa encourages Nozue to try out new things and in the process of bringing a joyful change in his life, confesses his feelings to him. Guardian is a fantasy bromance drama that shows an age gap relationship of more than 10,000 years. The Special Investigations Unit is a covert organization dedicated to investigating bizarre occurrences beyond the comprehension of the living. The chief Zhao Yunlan isn't a simple guy either. Being the inheritor of the Guardian Order, he has always been a righteous conformist excelling between realms of the living and the dead. While investigating a school suicide case, Zhao is attracted to the calm and reserved professor Shen Wei, but the professor seems to be rather fickle towards him. Chief Pufa and Tian's love story also has an age gap element to it. Since Chief Fufa is in his 30s and Tian is a fresh university graduate. After a volunteer teacher, Torfan, dies in a tragic accident, her heart is transplanted into Tian. In the village, Tian meets Chief Pufa and as they become close, Tian notices that his heart involuntarily beats faster whenever he is near Chief Pufa. RJ is a high school student who is fed up with his parents for not accepting his sexuality and forcing him to live under their rules. So RJ leaves home and starts working at a restaurant. The restaurant manager Alex is a man in his 30s. He is hot and dashing and RJ develops a massive crush on him. RJ pursues Alex with all his heart but Alex is reluctant to accept RJ's feelings because he finds him immature due to his age as well as because of his own bad history and relationships. One day RJ quits his job at the restaurant. That's when Alex starts missing him. The Immeasurable is a Taiwanese movie about a university student Xiang and a police officer Vic who are attracted to each other and fall in love without knowing that they stand against each other as one has to do his duty and the other is supporting a cause that he believes in the most. One night when Xiang is out protesting, Vic receives a phone call from his boss to go to the protest grounds as backup. The streets are overrun with the raucous crowd and the police is holding their line. Will Vic choose his duty over love? Cutie Pie has two age gap couples, Lian Kua and Yi Diao. Lian and Yi are both men in their 30s with established businesses, while Kua and Dao are both university students figuring out their lives. The two couples clash a lot as they have different mindsets and opinions due to their age difference. Both Lian and Yi are cold to Kua and Dao at first and treat them dismissively. This makes Kua and Dao reluctant for of sharing their honest feelings with Lian and Yi. However, slowly both couples begin to understand each other better and come to deeply care for one another. Call It What You Want is a love story of BL series director James and his secret romantic relationship with debut actor Eight. In the series, Eight is a rookie actor who is a university graduate while James is a well-established drama director who is hired by a big production company to direct a BL series. Their romance is sweet and innocent and the fact that they have to keep it a secret adds another layer of thrill to the whole story. 
Popular novelist Yoon Suk is not an ordinary man. Yoon Suk has been living on the earth for the past 300 years in order to get together with his first love Jong Hyeon. Yoon Suk has been desperately searching for Hyeon for a long time. But when Hyeon appears suddenly in front of him, he's shocked because in this life Hyeon has turned out to be a man, not a woman. Yoon Suk is unable to accept this at first, but over time he naturally gets attracted to Hyeon and falls in love with him. See You After Quarantine is an age gap love story between an older Japanese guy and a younger Taiwanese guy. This story is set during COVID times when everyone was trapped at home and could only communicate via video calls. The young guy falling for an older mature man's charms is my ultimate favorite trope and this BL delivers that perfectly. 180 degree longitude passes through us is the most prominent BL in the age gap romance genre because the age gap between the two leads is quite significant. Wang is a teenager while In is an old friend of Wang's father, which means he's a man in his 40s. This is a beautiful drama that explores conflicting feelings, guilt, loss and ultimately acceptance. Student-teacher romance is the most common age gap trope and History 2 does it very well. Shi Ye Jae, a divorced single man, is an associate professor at the Department of Anthropology. He has an 8-year-old daughter named Yo Yo. He single-handedly raises his daughter. Ye Jae is a well-respected man but a clumsy father. After certain events, Ye Jae's student Shang Jae starts working for Ye Jae as Yo Yo's nanny. And that's when feelings start developing between the two. Min Hoang is a young man who has to work two jobs in order to support his unwell mother. Min Hoang dresses up as a woman and does live streaming to earn money. However, one night a handsome man Tian Long approaches Min and they end up sleeping together. Tian thinks that he slept with a woman as he was drunk, so he has no idea that it was Min. Min also works at a coffee shop during the day and it turns out that the coffee shop owner is Tian Long. Triage is a love story between a college student and a doctor. Third year emergency medical resident Tin's life is transformed when university student Toll's car is overturned and he's rushed to the emergency room in serious condition. That night doesn't end when Tin fails to save Toll's life though. When Tin next wakes, he finds himself in a time loop, a loop he won't be able to leave until he's altered Toll's fate. Light is a heartbreaking but beautiful story of a young man called Light who was sexually assaulted by his stepfather at a young age. He grew up poor and now supports himself by selling his body to strangers. One day he got beaten up by a client. That's when police officer Shuo, who is undercover, saves his life. Shuo falls in love with Light and brings him out of darkness. Minato's Laundromat is another classic love story between a high school student and a man in his 30s. Akira peacefully ran his grandfather's coin laundry in a small Japanese town. One day, high school student Shin enters the laundromat and falls in love with Akira at first sight. Shin is even more happy to know that Akira is gay, but his road to win Akira's heart will not be easy as the age difference between the two is a massive roadblock in Akira's mind. Love in the Air has two couples and in both the couples there is significant age difference. Payu and Prapai are men in their mid to late 20s as they both have established careers while Rain and Sky are 18 or 19 as they are in the first year of university. Payu and Pai are two best friends who set out to win the hearts of university students Rain and Sky. You Make Me Dance is a love story between a debt collector and a college student. Shang Xion is a contemporary dance major who is estranged from his family. He is left alone to pay the debt of his mother which is owed to Cha 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 Capital. Debt collector Ji Hong Sok is tasked to collect the debt from Xion. But when the two meet, there are instant sparks between the two and Hong Sok ends up caring deeply for Xion. The love story between Uncle and Milk in Choco Milkshake could be considered an age gap relationship. The reincarnation of Jungwoo's cat Milk has a feisty and cold persona, but when he meets Jungwoo's uncle, his behavior completely changes as Uncle brings out his soft and shy side. Milk and Uncle form a beautiful relationship, and even when Milk crosses the Rainbow Bridge, he comes back to meet Uncle. 
High school student Yu Jun Xuan fell in love with Dr. Pei Shui when Pei Shui saved him as he was running away from thugs. Shui cares for Jun Xuan's wounds attentively without asking any questions or judging him. Shui's clinic was Jun Xuan's safe zone and he started visiting him often. Slowly but surely, Jun Xuan fell in love with Shui without knowing that Shui is incapable of loving anyone. Will Shui ever be able to reciprocate Jun Xuan's love? So these were 28 BLs that depict age gap relationships. Let me know in the comments below if there are any that I have missed out and also let me know how many from this list have you finished watching. Please subscribe to my channel for similar videos and look out for the February BL series list as well as my take on the recently finished BLs. See you all soon. Bye.